That's what you think. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Now, how your body be? How the hand? Because majorly I can see that is the hand and leg that is affected. So how are you feeling? How is your body reacting? Oh. Can you lift your hand up? Let's oh, see. Lift my hand. Okay. Yeah. Lift my hand. Uh, so I could move the hand, but you know, it's not that you it's not smooth. Yes, you the strength want to, is not there. Yeah, so uh, move it fast. You have to move it fast. You understand? So, but you, you, you want to do. Uh, well, funny enough, the hand does everything. Yes. Things that require this. Yes. But when you talk about things that are light, yes, it can't. You understand? Yes. Like if you have to roll a little bit, die or not? Yes. Or any light something that you yes. you understand? You see the hand because. Mm, mm, greater precision is required. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So then the hand has not got into that to you know, okay. that level yet. Okay. So and then when we also talk about the leg, mm. the leg to work because yeah, you say it, it, the leg is being okay, but the, it's not very smooth. Okay. You understand? Yeah. As one would expect. And there's one thing they ask what they call the foot drop. Yeah. You know, the foot drop is what makes you to drag your feet on yes. the ground. Yes. And it looks as if that is the terminal healing point. Yeah. Until that side of the leg can get healed, you cannot really move, oh, walk, right. move straight. You understand? Yeah. Right. You can't really yeah. walk straight. And, um, you know, uh, uh, um, the combination of the leg and the hand. Yes. The time means how smooth your movement is. That is why a person who has to cannot take it. If you have injury from something else yes. that affects your leg and uh, hand, yes. and that is not slow, the way it will appear in the eyes of somebody who has a stroke can easily make them that his zone is not slow. Yes. You understand? Yes. So it has a way, it's my best. <laughs> so that is why. Of course, the first thing you saw me, you knew that was it. Yeah, the moment I saw it, I knew you knew that was just it. Yeah, it's so, okay. then another thing I want to say is that the attack of the hand and the leg is concerned. Yes. A lot of massaging is required. Okay. Um, in my own case, the people around me are mostly females. Okay. You understand? Yes. So, even when I needed them to do some actions, I can't call them to come out because I said, no, that will, that will be including on my privacy. You understand? Yes. yes. So, I just kind of overlook it and do it myself. Yes. But even though it's not as effective as I want. Yes. So, occasionally, when I see me, uh, mature men around me, you understand? I know we're so close. Yes. So I can just engage them to do that for me. Okay. So if you have somebody that is constantly also what you call massaging your body. You, especially when you that so your hand cannot touch, yes, you have your hand cannot touch, they can make the healing faster. Okay. So that's one aspect I've also what you call the observe without you okay. Right. So my people would have hear Mr. Alex experience. What he's actually saying now for this matter he say if you get partial stroke, that initial stage if you get somebody, you see, for you to walk around, it get difficult, but those are the things that will help your body. You do physio, they massage your body. It's good if you get partial stroke, even from day one. The first place where you're supposed to even run to, na physio center. If you go there, you meet the right person. They will feel help you because na brain, vein, you know that the vein, primary, secondary vein, uh, then where they carry blood, they carry message to the brain, you know there's a breakdown. So physio will help you to begin to work on that area. You still recover very, very fast if you get the right information. That is why we do this program like this. Say, okay, make people take get information. Because some of us we don't know anything about stroke or partial stroke until when we become victims. So we they do all this program so that we can learn because you know one way you enter the place where we don't enter come out. We don't want to make you see what we don't see. So if you see this video, let us see and take a pass. Watch to the end. Maybe you get all the information. Where you figure money, no amount of money where you get. You know, if you buy this information, except you come across us. And if you see us on any social media, any platform, support us by just subscribing, like, drop your comment. If you get any question, ask, share.
to people. Now, the only support when you feel give us so we will continue to do the good work, they bring more information to you. So, and other people, because especially the young generation, we know one man suffer stroke. We want to try to see how we will prevent people from getting stroke. So, Mr. Alex, we thank you for coming to this show, but you never finish. You will still tell us the kind of treatment where you don't receive, which medicine, you still remember any medicine where you take or anything, where person, for whether or not fruit, or the kind of food where partial stroke patients are supposed to be eat, you get a new one where you know. Well, to be frank with you, um, I'm this type of person that I mind the kind of thing I consume. Okay. So when I find myself in this situation, I just simply want to let the expert. Okay. Advice. Advice. Mm -hmm. So I was basically taking the orthodox medicines. Okay. Doctor Road, you understand. Yeah. So the one for the BP, because normally, I think because in my own case was my BP. Yes. So what we were basically prescribing was drugs that revolve around what they call the BP. BP. Okay. Uh, All right. So. Um, and the one that we had, you know, the brains to allow blood to flow were another thing. Yeah. But sometimes you, you feel this orthodox medicine they are recommending, uh, it takes a lot of time, time before you start seeing results. Result. And so you, the temptation will be there to also like, there are other alternatives out there. Yes. Um, and I know that well because um, my family members were like, do you want to share anything that has to do with this uh, traditional, traditional medicine? Uh, medicine mm -hmm. That look, you are looking okay to start getting the spirit mm -hmm. over it. And you know, within me, I know that look, there can be something uh, um, traditional that can help. Mm -hmm. So at first I that some people that walked up to me when they see me, they just like get concerned and they say, ah, that they know of somebody and blah blah blah. So I was like, man, I mean more or less a new man's land. Yeah. Ah, so I don't just want to go and get myself into you know land. Mm -hmm. So I was just okay, I got them another thing, blah blah blah. And um the uh, thump that I will stumble on the net, I say they are well, they can stroke or close stroke or whatever, this thing. I patronize them, and this was only best known to me. Okay. Expensive. I patronize them because to me, getting the you know, solution. You know, want to you get know, the right. It was my main pen. So, so, without having to tell my people around me, I patronize it. And I use, hmm, uh, I I'm not getting words, you can understand. Yeah. Uh, but um, I think until the uh, present, I started getting consigned because I was like um, studying something on the net too. Mm -hmm. I, you know, the who does words, you can do this physical therapy. There are a lot of physical therapy exercises you will see on the net because yes. even the hospital, there's little. They will do. They will just show you an example of what they expect you to be doing at home. Yes. So they know that they are going to be doing all the things. Yes. They have so many patients to attend to the things they want to give you the kind of attention yes. you should yes. be So it's up to you. Yes. You understand? And um, because of that, when I look on online, you know, some of these therapy, they also talked about background on what the stroke thing is, yes. and some will even give you some information like. Not that there's any medicine that can cure it and all that thing, blah, 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 blah. But when I was an African man, I mean, I know that well, because the white man will say their own. Yes. But I know somehow there's something that can be done about this, the black man do. Yeah. 